Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Gazia Classic Espresso Machine and Bob. So the Gazia Classic has been around for a long time, since 1991, and remained mainly unchanged until 2009 when Philips took over and then things started to change. This machine here is one of the original pre-2009 Gazia Classics. This is my Gazia Classic, my first home barista espresso machine, and this is the 2003 model. So the new 2019 Gazia Classic, or the Gazia Classic Pro, is very close to the original pre-2019 Gazia Classic. It is essentially the same machine with a few small changes. It has a three-way solenoid valve, both machines do, the pre-2009 and the new Gazia Classic Pro has a professional size 58 millimeter porter filter as did the original classic it has the same size water tank the same size drip tray and it has the same size boiler as the original gazia classic which is a very small boiler around 80 mil and aluminium whereas the 2015 i believe had the larger 250 mil stainless steel boiler Visually, there are some differences, but not many. On the new Gazia Classic Pro, there's a cutout on the side of the frame here so that you can better see the water level. One of the major differences with the new Gazia Classic Pro is, of course, the Pro Steam Wand. So the Gazia Classic Pro comes with a proper steam wand, whereas the original Gazia Classic came with a Panarello. Panarellos are okay for making thick, spoonable cappuccino foam, but for making proper velvety micro foam, you need a proper steam wand. And okay, you could take the sheath off the Panarello on the original Gadget Classic, as you can do on other domestic espresso machines, and you can use a pipe that's exposed basically as a single hole steam tip. But most home baristas will do what I did with this machine and mod the Classic with a Rantilio Silvia steam wand but with the new Gazia Classic Pro you don't need to do that because it comes with a Pro Steam Wand which is great. So the original Gazia Classic was probably the number one choice in terms of the first home barista espresso machine for beginning home baristas. Pretty high percentage of home baristas I would say have started out within the past couple of decades with the Gazia Classic because for a long time really the Gazia Classic had no close competition. The nearest competition in the past to the Gazia Classic has been the Ranchilio Silvia but the Silvia was quite a bit of a jump up. It wasn't only 100, it was something like, you know, 200, 250 pound more than the Gaja Classic. Since Philips took over Gaja and the Gaja Classic started to change, less and less home baristas were starting out with the Gaja Classic because they were reading less positive reviews about the Gaja Classic as a home barista machine. And one of the main issues was the lack of the mechanical three way solenoid valve. The new 2019 Gadget Classic Pro, however, is made in Milan as the original version was, and it has the three-way mechanical solenoid valve. And it is, as I said earlier, essentially the same machine. There is one particular issue which some of the hardcore Gadget Classic fans aren't happy with, and that is that you can't adjust the overpressure valve. You could adjust this in the original Gadget Classic, but you can't, or it's much harder to adjust it in the new Gadget Classic Pro. And the reason for that is actually that Gazia UK were getting back quite a few classics that had damaged pumps that they believe were damaged due to the OPV being adjusted. So they decided it'd be a good idea in the new classic to stop the OPV from easily being adjusted and therefore reduce the number of returns due to that. Now I've personally never felt the need to adjust the OPV. I've always been happy with the quality of the shots that I get through the Gazia Classic. And personally, I don't think that adjusting the OPV is the route to gaining better espresso. I think if you're wanting better espresso than something like the Gazia Classic can provide, then it's probably time to upgrade to another machine rather than trying to upgrade the Classic and make it something which it isn't. But that's just my personal opinion. Now that the Gazia Classic is actually the Gazia Classic again. I think the Classic is a really good choice for a first espresso machine for home baristas, but there is more competition now than there was in the past. But the new Gazia Classic Pro is around 400 pounds, and there are quite a few other espresso machines that might be of interest around 
that kind of ballpark now. So there are more choices. If you want comparisons between all of these machines, by the way, click in the link below to a recent blog post I've written in which I talk about the differences between these machines. And as you can see, I use the Gazia Classic paired with the Sage Smart Grinder Pro. And if you're interested in this grinder, click on the link below to my Sage Smart Grinder Pro review. So let's make a coffee. So first we need to grind the coffee, of course. Normally there'd be a portafilter cradle in there, but I forgot it because I'm an idiot. So I weighed the portafilter. I'm looking for 18 grams. There we go. Bang gone. Coffee ready. grams so not far off at all but I'm quite happy with that so that was on setting 8 on the Sage Smart Grinder Pro with Velvet Espresso Blend from Adams and Russell Coffee Roasters. So now to steam the milk. What I normally do when I'm steaming with the Gadget Classic is I turn the steam on but then I don't wait for the light to come on to indicate that the steam is ready. Instead, I'll count about 10 to 15 seconds and then I'll purge the steam wand and you'll normally see steam starting to flow through the steam wand at that point, which time we'll start steaming the milk. I just find you get a bit more steam power out of the small boiler if you start it as soon as the steam's ready rather than waiting for the light to come on a little bit later. So turn the steam on. And after about 10, 15 seconds, I normally give the steam on the purge and see if the steam's starting to flow. And it's just starting. So it's ready. It's around about hot enough for about 65 degrees. Always wipe the steam one and purge it. And remember to turn the steam off. And there we go. The Gadget Classic Plo. And as you can see, I use the Gadget Classic with the Sage Barista Expert. No, I don't. Hang on a minute. 